Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how to trade IPOs. So trading the IPOs is slightly different from your trading your normal stocks and I'll explain that how it's different. And we'll also look at how you can scan the IPOs, how to like there's a screener as well and how to get all the IPO stocks in a single place and how to trade them in different ways. So let's get started with the video. Disclaimer, I'm not a SEBI registered analyst. Any stock discussed in this video is not a buy or sell recommendation. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any trade or making any investment. So let's get started with the video. So first thing is what is an IPO, right? So an IPO or initial public offering is the process through which a private company offers its shares to the public for the first time. So let's say there's a company, right? and which doesn't trade on the stock market you can't find its stock on the uh, stock exchanges right so that is more likely a, pr a private kind of company so whenever they need to raise money or for some other reasons maybe some investor is exiting right so there could be multiple reasons what they do is that they put their partial partial ownership in the form of shares and that they give to the public right who subscribes to an ipo or uh, after that the stock starts uh, trading on the exchanges right so that is what basically initial public offering is this marks the company's transition from a privately held entity to a publicly traded one right so that is what basically an ipo is so why trade ipo stocks right what is the reason of trading ipo stocks and why do we treat them differently from the other stocks so the main question that comes to mind is that how to trade IPOs and how they are different from trading a stock that is already listed from some time. The main difference being that a new demand supply dynamic, dynamics being formed in case of the IPO stocks. So what the main difference being between IPO and the other stocks is that an IPO stock which is a recently listed stock is that it's a new stock, it's a fresh stock. Right. So if you see in markets all things come down to demand and supply the stock movement the price movement and everything that comes to the uh, su supply and demand a stock goes up means there's more demand a stock goes down that means there's more supply or there is a lack of demand right so when a stock is fresh there hasn't been too much activity that has happened right so it's a fresh whatever trend it will form will be a fresh trend right and that provides us opportunity to make superb gains in a very short period of time right because if a stock wants to, uh, like you know if a stock wants to go up one of the major hurdles that comes is that the overhead supply that means there were trapped buyers who were already holding the stock uh, that restricts the price movement from going up right usually that is how it happens but in case of ipos there's first of all there's very less overhead supply right because again it is recently listed there no not much history there hasn't been too much exchanges between the buyers and the sellers and one of the groups the buyers and the sellers can pick up the stock from there and they can form a fresh trend right and the upside potential is huge as there hasn't been much activity there right so that is why trading the ipo stocks is a bit different from already listed ones which have a history which have multiple trends which have gone through transitions which have splits and other multiple things right so that is why ipo trading is a bit different from trading the usual so how to trade ipo basis right so i call it the ipo base trading right so there are two ways there are mainly two ways you can trade an ipo stock at the crossing of the listing high so what I have observed is that in case of the IPO stocks at the crossing of the listing day high, uh, like this is the kind of a pattern that I have observed is that whenever a IPO stock that crosses its listing day high means the day the stock is listed on the exchanges. After that, the move comes very smoothly and that too in a uh, upwards direct. So that is one way of trading the IPO basis and the second is within the base so sometimes what happens is that the ipo stocks goes down instead of going up after the listing or maybe it just consolidates there and that happens for a few weeks or maybe sometimes even few months and in some cases for few years as well so in this case what you do is you look for an early entry within the base itself you're not waiting for the stock to cross that listing day 
high you're actually looking for a entry within the base which could kind of a cheat entry or a reversal or maybe multiple other ways right so it could be a reversal and it could be a base within the base or a cheat entry right so let me just show you an example visual example right so let's say this is a stock which is recently listed and this is the listing day candle right and after that what happens is that the stock goes down after that right it goes down and after that it forms a base reverses and then comes up and crosses the listing day high so in this case what you will do is that you will enter the stock here whenever it's crossing the listing day high and sometimes what happens is that uh, the there has been more activity uh, you know below the uh, high of the listing day like and this in this case as you can see is that a uh, stock goes down and forms a base within the overall base and that is a kind of a early entry within the base so this is an example of that right so let me shrink it down a bit because of the quality right so this was the listing day high as and you can see after that for some time it tried it consolidated there tried to cross that listing day high but there was no proper closing and after that the stock fell but then there was a base formation and then the bullish activity happened and then it started moving high across the listing day high pulling back right so after the ipo there are three ways the price can move mainly the three ways it starts moving up right after the listing day so sometimes what happens the stock lists and it start moving higher from the next day itself second stays below the listing day high either consolidates or goes in a downtrend second way in which the stock behaves is that uh, it lists on a particular day and after that what happens it might consolidate and or maybe it starts going down right and third type is that cross the listing day and soon falls back within the next few days and sometimes what happens is that uh, the stock consolidates here a bit crosses the listing day high but again soon falls back and starts going down or maybe consolidate starts consolidating so i have examples for all three right so this is the example of the first case where the stock after listings starts to go up directly right this is the second case where the stock starts to go down immediately and this is the th third case where the stock cross crosses the listing day high and soon after that starts falling again base within the base right so now let's move on to the some real examples right so let's just move on to some real examples and we'll see some stocks that are looking really good and of the ipos and i'll also show you how you can scan the ipo stocks right so these are few examples that i have to show you right so let's start with this bunsa lawyer as you can see so again i'm repeating again this is not a recommendation right so this was the listing day high and what do you see after that the stock starts consolidating right try to cross the listing day but fails and again comes down and reverses and then finally crosses it and goes up after that another example that we have abdl right listing day goes up comes down forms a base and this is where it provides you an early early entry so once there has been enough activity and by enough activity i mean there has been activity of 2 3 kind of a weeks then you will need to look for other signs in the entry as well right you need to combine your inside bars and your maybe your vcp kind of situation right all of these in the price section as well because again once there has been enough activity on the chart then you can use the normal price section ways uh, to look at look for an entry right because again uh, the the main motive of trading an ipo stock is just that there has not been too much past activity and once it starts going up uh it usually goes up very smoothly so as you can see in this case so what a beautiful movement the stock has shown right so this was the base formation and this was the clear resistance zone that it had formed a, a cheat entry early entry point and this was inside bars as well right so there was a breakout a pull back a very small pull back above the 10 day moving average then a strong reversal with the volume and also keep noticing the volume activity as well with the candles again a two day small pause and then a strong breakout also crossing the previous high sand star if you see this example right so this was the listing day high and one thing interesting here if you see it is like a very elaborated coiling types inside bars because all the candles that were formed after that 
were within the range of this listing candle if you see if i just mark the highs and low of this candle all of these so again multiple inside bars here it tried to break out here i actually tried to trade here on on this day but you know it's uh, because my stop was very tight and hit my stop but after three days and it finally moved after that and just look at the movement that came after that right from this base to this 23 percent and then a very nice pullback towards the high of the listing candle and then reverse plus the 10 day moving average as well if you look at another example go digit if you see right so this was the listing day stock consolidated crosses the listing day high and then a big consolidation after that uni e-commerce so again st still stuck so this was the example of where the stock is still below the listing day high it actually tried to cross it but again failed so now again forming a base so in this case where your entry would be either the stock what it does is that it gives a good two three weeks kind of activity here and then provides a good entry point to us or maybe it moves higher and crosses this level of the listing day high so that could be another entry as well mq pharma so again after it tried to cross the listing day high but failed and then formed a base within the overall base and then a good reversal from here as well 10 day moving average previous high uh, of this listing day right this one if you see it's currently in a downtrend so no activity so here in this case in these cases what you have to do is just wait and see whenever it forms a base or kind of a reversal or uh, this one is a similar case this one again uh, not in a downtrend but consolidating so here the best entry would be when it crosses the listing high that is around 424 or so so this one was a very nice one and interesting case because first the there was strong bullish activity on the listing day itself right and then there were three inside bars and then it started up so if you guys don't know i have actually made a video on ipo basis before as well but this video is kind of an updated version uh, because th at that time i didn't know how to make a screener for these you know ipo and uh, plus there are other tools as well now plus uh, my knowledge has also been upgraded a bit and i have discovered that basis within the base is another good type of entry as well so this is a kind of an updated version and here is example where the stock just goes down and down for quite a long time and then forms a base and then a reversal right so you just have to observe the price action once there has been enough activity so this one was a very nice example right so there was this activity so the stock fell after right after the listing and just consolidated for there for some time and then there was a breakout and a very strong one just look at the move of 20 percent in a single day and look at the uptrend that had it had after that if you look at jyoti cnc again a very similar ex example a uh, nice activity on the listing day itself then a small consolidation crosses that and goes up after that and if you see this one is the opposite example where it's in a downtrend this one is also of a downtrend tata tech right and finally they are forming a bottom kind of a bottom after a, a good amount of activity here uh, then we have Exicom again so here you see the principle of cheat entry here right so after the listing stock fell uh, came up formed a nice small range inside bars and then there was a breakout from that range and this was the point it finally crossed the listing day high but you see in these cases where there has been a good amount of activity and you find an early entry so from the listing day itself if you see the gap of this zone to this area so that is a 29 percent kind of a move even for the stock to reach that their listing day high and after that you see how the stock has performed after that right so this is how you need to look for the ipo stocks right how to look at for the ipo basis and how to trade them so coming to how to how to you know look for the ipo stocks how to get that what kind of screen are used uh, so there are two ways mainly right so first one that i have a screener that i made on chart inc right so here the logic is simple right so here i'm just looking for the all the stocks uh, within a certain time frame uh, where, which are more than equal to zero right so you just need to look for the ipo stock you need to have a certain time frame key for a like which stocks you are looking for like uh, which were listed in this much time period let's say which were listed 
uh, within the time period of last three months or last four months last five months right so you can simply change it from here you can go to one month or you can go to two months let's say look all all the stocks that are uh, you know listed in past two months right so if you see all you'll get all these names uh, another filter that I've added is the volume should be greater than uh, like you know daily volume should be greater than uh, 10,000 because uh, you'll get a lot of new ETFs as well like this one uh, which are listed in the scanner you'll get a lot of ETFs as well so I'll paste the link of the scanner in, in the description and another way is just going to our good old chart charts maze right so you can simply go to the scanners here you will see IPO scanners and past IPO listings. So you can select the date from where you want to see all the IPOs and you will get the from the latest in backwards right or you can just to go to the charts view and you can simply go through the multiple IPO stocks right here right so this Orient technology is recently listed Infratech building products recently listed uh, uni e-commerce that I have in my watch list as well brain B solution you see Ola electric sigil India right and this Coombs drug and Sandstar right so you will get all the names here Bunsel Weiss and Kyo Pharma all the names here simple very simple one right so going to the charts may scanners and IPO scans and in the IPO setups you can see simply see what kind of uh, setup an IPO is forming right plus here you will get the independence of uh, if you are using the charting one you get the independence of selecting the uh, stocks which were listed uh, a certain time period ago let's say I'm looking for the stocks that were listed uh, within the last one year let's say 12 months right so I'll just get all the stocks that were listed within the last uh, 11 uh, sorry 12 months the only difference here you'll get many stocks that were listed from the in the NSC exchange because it only uh, sorry NSC right national stock exchange so in it only captures all the stock in the NSC right so there are two exchanges bsc and sc right so there are many companies which are listed in bsc for quite a long time but they are relatively newly listed in the nsc so it will capture all those names as well like this one uh, rpel rug of productivity enhancer limited so it is a old stock that has been listed in the bsc from quite some time but recently it got listed in the nsc so that's why it's capturing capturing it right so this is it for today's video and I hope you guys learned something new and in case you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and share goodbye take care